So students, of course, all have Gmail addresses with their Google account, and those addresses all end in tldsb.me. Now those students may try and send you emails directly, they might share files with you, they may write little notes when they share those files, and different emails will land under different little tabs within your Gmail account uh, if those categories are all set up. But frequently, we want to make sure that we don't miss anything from those kids and we'll want to push all those messages over to our primary tab where we're sure to see them. And you can create a filter to do that. So here's how we would set that up. I'm going to come to my email here and I have this message from Elena Tyndale who is, as I click here, you can tell, a student at tldsp.me. Now she has also sent me a message or shared a file with me I should say over here under updates and so that's coming in now as a update email because it was just a shared file but I want to override that setting so here's how I'm going to handle that I come up to the search box and I choose the little arrow at the end because if I just search it'll end up looking under includes the words I want to be more specific I'm going to go to the from line and say at tldsb.me so that it's going to search any of the messages that have that in the from and I will go ahead and create filter. Now I don't need to skip the inbox or apply a special label, although you could if you wanted to, like a student's label possibly. In this case, all I'm going to do is come down to categorize and I want to say I make that a primary category message and it's saying, hey, there's actually three messages that I've found that met this criteria of tldsb.me. So I'm going to check that and say create filter. Now filters will take effect on any message that you receive from this point going forward. So it won't actually do anything here. That message will stay there. Now if I wanted to move it, I could certainly click it and drag it to primary. And then when I go to my primary, of course, it'll be sitting there. But if I want to uh, double check and see if I am actually getting those messages now moved to primary automatically, I will wait until she has shared another file with me. And here we can see now, boom, I have another message. It was another update. This was another uh, file being shared with me, but instead of landing in updates, it landed right in primary. So that's how I'll be able to set up that filter and make sure that I get all those student emails landing right in the primary tab.